Hi, I'm Mark Luthold, and I'm here today to show you how to program a bisque firing with the Bartlett controller. And I'm using the kiln named Laureen, named after Laureen Murphy. She was a student here, and now she's an alum. And she helped me write a grant that enabled us to buy this kiln. Um, most of our kilns in the department have Bartlett controllers, and in fact, most kilns everywhere have Bartlett controllers. So this is a really good thing for you to know how to use. Um, Laureen, the kiln that I'm programming, also has a Dawson kiln sitter. And many kilns have the Bartlett controller and the kiln sitter, um, but not all. But one thing you need to know is that you need to charge the kiln sitter before you're able to activate the Bartlett controller. And in a separate video, I've shown you how to uh, charge the, the, the kiln sitter. Basically, how to put the cone in it, the pyrometric cone in it, and how to turn it on. Um, but now, once that's done, you're ready to work with the Bartlett controller. and. Um, uh, uh, very often you'll see something writ written here. This means error one. This is a type of firing error, and uh, you can't you can't program the kiln until you make that go away. Um, all you have to do to make it go away is press this enter button, and uh, the controller is ready to be programmed if uh, you see idle. Um, flashing on and off, which we just saw. So we're good to go. Now, right here are our, is a menu of our firing options. The first says slow bisque, then fast bisque, slow glaze, fast glaze. I'm going to go for a slow glaze. Firing slowly is always better than firing fast. Now you'll see slow bisque registered here, but it's not programmed until you press enter. Every time you input information, you got to press enter. Now it's asking what cone we want to fire to. Now 08 is a good bisque temperature. 08, enter. Now it's asking you how long do you want to hold it at the peak temperature of 1728 degrees and uh, to hold it for a short period of time at peak temperature is good, but not for too long. Let's do four minutes. So you just press four and enter. Now it says right there that the programming is complete, but I want to add a, um, a preheat to it because with a bisque firing you want to make sure that all the moisture or as much of it as possible is out of the clay before you do the firing. And uh, so I'm going to program a preheat. But um, preheats can vary in, in uh, the amount of time. Uh, and um, if your pieces are thin and very, very dry, you can probably get away with a four hour preheat. But if they're on the thick side and maybe a little bit damp, maybe a 12 hour preheat would be better. Now, Bear in mind, don't put wet pieces into the kiln. They probably will crack and they may damage your work and worse, other people's work if you're sharing a kiln. And uh, so make sure your pieces are dry, but if they're a tiny bit damp, a longer um, preheat is advisable. Or if your pieces are very thick, let's say they're an inch or an inch and a half thick, then you might want to go for an 18 hour preheat. And, uh, um, but uh, if your pieces are thicker than an inch and a half, you probably should carve them down because firing very, very thick work like that is often problematic. It often results in cracking and damaging your other work or worse, other people's work. So um, now let's go ahead and show you how to do it right here it's under options and there are three buttons here the bottom button says other press it twice and you'll see preheat then press enter and now it's asking you how long do you want to hold it for the preheat temperature and we decided for this demo that I'd use 12 hours so 
press 1, 2. Now that's only 12 minutes. Now that's 1.2, so that's 1 hour and 20 minutes. And now that we got the decimal point behind the 2, we're at 12 hours, 1, 2.00. And we've got to enter that. Now it's telling us the, the program is complete, and it is, but before you start to kiln, you have to review the program. That's the middle bottom button right here. Slow bisque, preheat for 12 hours, cone 08, firing to temperature 1728 degrees, and it's saying it's holding at peak temperature for four minutes. So we're good to go. Now um, I'm going to press the start button. Sometimes you have to press it twice but usually once is okay. And so I'm going to press it once, and after I press it, you will hear, when it, when it, if it's working, you'll hear the, the relay switches uh, sending power to the electric elements in the kiln, and you'll see lights shining. And uh, we got that. So let me just tilt this and show you. Like there you can see the lights are on and they'll, they'll shut on and off at, uh, during your firing. So that is how to fire or how to program a bisque firing with a Bartlett controller. Happy firing!